important as this one. It was like it didn't really bring in national news. It really didn't bring in no national news. And the reason this did, the reason this did was, was not only was it the 75th issue of the Superman comic, not the spinoffs or anything, but the Superman comic. The reason this was so big, so nationally covered, is because DC was going to keep him out of the comics for a long time. It wasn't like, oh, he's going to be dead, and like in two, three months he's going to come back, or in the next issue he's going to come back. No. No, that, that wasn't the case. And, and, and that is something that even nowadays fans complain about. They say, oh, you know, this guy's going to come back and all that. I mean, I can remember, I can remember after issue 125, of the Sonic the Hitchcock comic book, and Sonic was tossed into space. You know, no one knew, a lot of people knew he was coming back, but a lot would speculate, oh, he's going to come back in the next issue, he's going to fly back, there he is. No, what they did is they kept him out of the comics, comics, not out of the comics, but out of the Mobius story arc of the comic, and kept him elsewhere. You see, what they did was sort of a reverse of what was done here. You see, what was done here, when they published the comics after the death, we got to see how the characters were trying to adjust to life without Superman. Here, when we looked at the Sonic the Hitchcock comic book from one, I think it was 125 to about 130, I believe, or 129, I can't really think of the issue. I think it was 130. Between those, one, hey, I think it's 130. But between those issues, between those issues, we didn't know, but between those issues, we saw Sonic trying to figure out how to get home, basically adapting on himself on how to get home and everything. Yet, in the Superman comic, we were looking at the characters adjusting to be alive without Superman, and then of course, like I said, comparing it when you they, to the Sonic issues that came after 125, we basically saw Sonic trying to get home. We didn't see the characters adapting or how the characters reacted or what was going on with them until he came back. So, again, that's just this little comparison, but it shows you the similarities there, if, if, even if they're reversed. But although that didn't make national coverage, because <laughs> I doubt Sega would let Sonic die and have it make na national coverage, even in a comic book, this did. This did because it allowed us because we knew something was going to happen, and it also gave you a feeling that something was going to happen to the point that we would see how the characters reacted to life without Superman. So, again, but again, you know, that's, that's why it was such a big deal, and that's why the comic, the issue itself, stayed in sales, kept getting published and published and published, because fans wanted to keep it. They wanted to know what happened. So... Anyway, that's all I have to say here on episode 6 of the Media Overview. As I take a look at my first Media Overview episode, looking at the comic books that I have. Especially looking at the, the, Gwen, the death of Gwen Stacy and the death of the Stacys overall when it comes to Spider-Man. Right here. As well as the ever popular and most nationally historically known death of Superman issue 75. And that's all I'm going to say. I thank you for watching episode 6 of the MOV, the Media Overview. If you got any comments, let me know. Talk to you later.